Hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is your girl Tashi, and I am back with another video. And um, I'm gonna be reacting to Satisfying Downfall of Jojo. Um, what's her name? Siwa? How am I saying it? Like, I remember her. I do remember her. Um, I remember when she started doing YouTube. She used to dress like in colored clothes. I'm trying to remember how she used to look. She used to wear colored clothes, rain like rainbow clothes. And what else? She was like the, you know, like a little. I think she just like a little princess type of thing. Um, I never was never really into her videos. Her her she used to draw her videos was mostly to um was to uh was more entertained for the younger viewers. So yeah, that's why I rem that's how I remember her. But I never really sat and really watched her videos like that. But I've seen some few changes though. She changed a lot. Like she. She's supposed to be a rock and roll singer or something like that, I believe. I don't know. She's a she's a singer now. And she's nothing like she used to be. Like, she totally changed. <laughs> like, she looked totally different. But let's get straight to the video. Most. Jojo Siwa, I hate the most. <laughs> Jojo Siwa, f*** off. Before the algorithms forced me Siwa. to learn Jojo Siwa. Siwa as an adult. Nobody, nothing, nobody can. I already sort of knew her when she was younger. All I knew her for was wearing these bows, being a yes. spoiled little shit, thinking the world fell out. That's how I remember her. I forgot she, I forgot about the bow. I forgot about the bow. <laughs> her feet. There's this one interview on Logan Paul's podcast where she comes across as the most self-entitled little brat. Yeah. You dance, you sing. Oh, yes. There's an other producers, but I am the sole writer on all my songs, obviously. And I was just really smart. I was just, I've always been really advanced, really smart. Yeah, you school. can tell, you can tell. And I got 99% on my, 99.9% .9 on my state testing. So we're like, yep, I'm good. Pull her and out, take her home, make yep. her a superstar online. Yep. I'm with, because you probably can't have like a normal conversation with a regular 15 year old mm -hmm. i'm sure you blow them out of the water there's nothing there's no I relatability with other 15 year olds either who are doing what i'm doing like you all you're of my still friends, even far beyond literally mentally. all my friends are like you're probably you and jake are like the you could tell uh you could tell she likes to talk <laughs> she's not even giving uh what's his name a chance to even say anything like he's Youngest trying to like she sold these bows she, apparently she sold 40 million of them bows. whoa crazier Guess how many we sold last year? This year, technically, 2018. Guess how many that we're sold? I'm, I'm literally afraid to answer. A million. 40 million. Oh, get oh. the hell out of here. <laughs> the Pablo Escobar of bows. I mean, that image there of her, that is who I remember Jojo Siwa as. Unfortunately for everyone. For, I'm still stuck. 40 million. I would expect her to say at least 2 million or 3 million. 40 million? No, Jojo Siwa. Uh, grew up from little self-entitled brat. And I was just really smart. I was just, I've always been really advanced, really smart. To adult self-entitled brat. Some of the most respected people in the world have come up to me and been like, what you're doing right now is so right. It is so right. It is what the world needs. Which is way worse. Because when they're a kid, at least it's like, oh, they're just a kid, just a little shit. Like, fuck off. My but, God. you know, you're right. You're a kid. You'll grow up and learn one day. When they grow up and they're just as self-entitled and worse, then it's really grating. Because she's doing this rebrand, claiming it is the biggest rebrand of a generation. No one has made this dramatic of a change yet no one has made in my generation this extreme of a switch and i am the first in the generation it is very scary but someone's gotta do it this is all being done through her releasing a song called karma where she dances like a fucking idiot and the song obviously sucks <laughs> Y'all leave that girl alone. Y'all leave her alone. <laughs> she's she's doing her thing. She's having fun. Y'all leave her alone. Apparently old JoJo's been going crazy on the old copyright, so can't play anymore. But uh, you're not missing out on much. This dancing was so bad. <laughs> so you're not trends. missing. People were making fun of her that much. It was trending. But yeah, this song is her big rebrand. Okay. She said the word bitch, ooh. But she can't stop talking about how it's this massive switch up that she's been waiting her whole life to do as if it's the craziest switch up you've ever seen. People are afraid of things they don't know. People are, people are, things, things can be scary for people. New things can be very, very scary. Um, but I, I think that creating art is such a special, special thing. And I'm very lucky. I'm sorry to say, but she dressed like one of those wrestlers. 
<laughs> That's what I'm getting from her. She, she it's like she she the makeup reminds me a little bit of uh what's that rock band called? Was it Kiss? I think it was Kiss. It it reminded me of them but but like a little bit of like a wrestler. <laughs> that I'm one of the people in the world that gets to create art. And like, Aww. she couldn't be more entitled if she tried. First of all, <laughs> the way she talks about this song, <laughs> as if it's some art. No one nowadays makes major music videos like Gaga did back in the day, huh? Britney did back in the day. The world is just scared of new, scared of people art. People don't like change. People don't like change, they don't. I'm not afraid to make art. I'm not afraid to give you change. I'm not afraid to make you question, you know what I mean? Newsflash, love is fucking not. I wouldn't let my dog listen to this shit. Then goes on to say that her new genre she's inventing is gay pop. The genre is, I said it back in the day, when I first signed with Columbia, I said, I want to start a new genre of music. And they said, what do you mean? And I said, well, it's called gay pop. And they were like, what's that? And I was like, it's like K-pop, right? But it's yeah. gay pop. If you didn't know, Jojo Siwa is gay, so that's fine. But unfortunately, Jojo Siwa, you're a few decades late to invent gay pop. That has been yeah. a thing yeah. with legendary artists. You aren't inventing shit, you dumb <laughs> fuck. Everyone hates. Why did he say that? He is so mean. He did that. He didn't have to say all that. The LGBTQ plus community turned on Jojo Siwa, a community she's a part of, for being so ignorant to the fact. And when being interviewed by TMZ, she says this dumb shit. I think I just want to make it more clear that gay pop is a genre. You have pop, you have rock, you have country, and you have gay pop. Hi. If I said to somebody, name a gay pop artist, they'd go, what's gay pop? But if I said to somebody, name a rock artist, you would say, Kiss, ACDC, you know what I mean? I think they'd say Lady Gaga, I think they'd say Chapel Roan, they'd say Freddie Mercury, Elton John. Okay, that's valid, because I would too. I would too, I'd be like, no, Elton John. Do you want to go back on your statement and say that you're, you weren't the inventor of gay pop? I definitely am not the inventor of gay pop, for sure not. But I do want to be a piece in making it bigger than it already is. Okay. Bring. I want to bring more attention to it. Okay. I'm not the creator, but I'm. I'm not the president, but I might be like the CEO or the like CMO. No, no. She's not perfect. She probably. I'm, I'm quite sure people look. Everybody was. Everybody was giving her the side eye when she said that. I get it. I get it. You know. And I understand a lot of people want to be the first of creating something and make it seem like you know they want to slap their name and say well they they were the first. You know. A lot of people are like that. <laughs> A lot of artists are like that, but I understand where she's coming from. I guess she wants it to be, she's trying to make it bigger than it is now, I guess. I don't know much about gay pop, <laughs> if that's if that's even the name of it, gay pop. Um, but I, I kind of said what she's trying to say, but poor thing, poor thing. <laughs> Not anything. You're like not even close. You're just the most sheltered, spoiled little brat. Aww. Who are you fooling with this rebrand? You're still the same girl, not this edgy adult that you're trying to portray. And you're possibly one of the most annoying human beings I've ever seen, to be honest. End of the day, it's all just money, <laughs> publicity. She doesn't really care about music. It's proven completely because it's not even her song. She stole the song. <laughs> From an artist named Brit Smith, I'm assuming she bought the licensing or she bought the rights to it. And the internet completely found it out, clowned on her for that. You can't even write your own music. But I am the sole writer on all my songs. You got to be kidding me. So that's, you know what's so crazy? I swear, to, I swear. I, when I heard a clip of that song, I said to myself, I heard that it's the sound sounds so familiar, but I couldn't really like figure it out who sings that song but it do sound familiar it sounds so familiar but that is crazy and the fact that she said she's a writer okay maybe she wrote like some of the lyrics in the song but he said the song i have to listen to the song that's the thing i haven't heard I the song completely shows that jojo siwa doesn't so care about music doesn't care about any of this Aww. it's just complete fake phony <laughs> Bullshit. And that's what that's Jojo Siwa in Spain. I mean, he's keeping Spain it real. Phony. He's not sugarcoating that. Even as a child, this happy-go-lucky persona. I'm Jojo Siwa, everyone. Gah! 
And this is even worse because she's a 20 year old adult. Jojo Siwa got caught stealing this song or she bought it, whatever, right? But she's passing it off as her song. Karma makes you listen. Karma makes you ask. Karma makes you confused. This song is special. Karma is special. The TMZ confronted her about it and in typical Jojo Siwa fashion, she, uh, shades Brit Smith. Did you steal it from Brit Smith? I did not steal anything. <laughs> There's no such thing as stealing. Yeah. I also don't know who Brit Smith is. <laughs> she sung it before you, apparently. And it's been going viral online. Clearly not that viral, because I haven't even seen it. It's about me, so. To be honest with you, how- How you not know? No one on her team didn't tell her? Somebody- You tell me there was nobody on her team that was over 20 years old? Someone that's in the music industry didn't know that that was her song. They didn't even say anything to her. That's shady. That's messed up. Can you imagine you're the artist and you're hearing your song on the radio? Or hearing your song on social media. Somebody singing your song. And they, they don't know who the hell you are. That's kind of like a slap in the face. My gosh. How are you going to buy a song? <laughs> like, damn. And release a song that's already written. You definitely know that. Because you didn't write it. So you're probably thinking, where did this song come from? Brit Smith. So it, for me, the way Jojo Siwa acts, she's so entitled. She thinks she's the best. She has the craziest ego. In my opinion, she's giving shade there. It becomes even better because Karma literally comes around for Jojo Siwa. Hey, <laughs> Brit Smith re-released her original song amidst all this hype. You know that Jojo Siwa has created with people making fun of her, but people were saying that they like Brit Smith's version because she can actually sing. Change me. She re-released the song and she charted better than Jojo Siwa's release of it. Well, Jojo, if you didn't know who she was, now you know. You definitely do now. Yep. You gotta love it. These rich brats, spoiled little shits who the world falls at their feet. They don't know <laughs> hardship. They don't know anything about real fucking life. When they release something doesn't go to plan, everyone makes fun of them and you can't even chart better than the person who hasn't got a following. You have 40 million, what, TikTok followers? Over 10 million Instagram followers. Brit Smith, no one knew about her until you released the song. And now you're so disliked that people wanted to support her way more than you. And probably because, Jojo, you can't sing. Change me! Comment your thoughts on Jojo Siwa. Subscribe if you're new. Lo Oh my god, this was crazy. I came across this on my newsfeed and I was like, I had to react to it because I was like, I'm hearing all these stories about her, but I never really like, you know, paid attention. But I, I know who, who she is, but I've seen a few pictures and a few little videos too. But, um, oh man, she needs to do something else at this point. I'm not saying you should give up on your dream. If, if, you never know. This She probably passionate about this you know if she's if she's really passionate then she needs to write her own songs come her own her own songs and come up with her own sound and you know and not steal someone else stuff you know because that's not being creative that's just stealing someone else's song you know and trying to uh get paid off of that like no okay and i need people to respect the older people you know, the older artists, you know, if you're going to take someone's sound and music, give them credit. At least give them some type of credit, you know, because that's a slap in the face. Can you imagine? Like I said, can you imagine you, you're hearing your song on the radio? No, not not your song on the radio, but like your song on, the, I would say, more on the social media and someone's getting popular off of it. And it's not, you know, it's not you. It's someone else took your song. It's like and they don't give you no credit for it. That's a slap in the face. That's so disrespectful. You know? Oh my gosh. Anyway. Comment below. <laughs> Let me I wanna hear y'all. I wanna read y'all uh y'all thoughts about this and um also subscribe to my channel. If you're new, subscribe to my channel and I'll see y'all later. Y'all take care. Bye and peace.